aviation sector is changing fast to be more economical, sustainable, environmentally friendlier, and most importantly, efficient. Airbus is at the cutting edge of this progress and has developed a number of innovative solutions to help the company achieve progress in efficiency, range, environmental goals such as CO2 emission targets, comfort of its passengers and crew, as well as overall aesthetics. The Airbus is world's largest airplane maker with 45.3% of the world's market share. It has dominated market across the globe with A320 family of aircraft. 9,700 aircraft have been already built since 1986 when the very first A320 entered service and nearly 8,000 new generation A320 NEOs are still on order. Today the company has expanded and now competes in most segments of passenger market, with Airbus acquiring only recently Bombardier CS100 family that was renamed into Airbus A2020 family and as a result received massive boost in order for Canadian airplane maker. As of print, 658 additional orders for Airbus A220 family of aircraft. Not to be left behind in mid-range market, Airbus has introduced A321 Neo Long Range, an aircraft that has a range of around 4,000 nautical miles or 7,400 kilometers, adding that extra bit option for airliners. However, due to growing demand of now imminent retirement of Boeing 767 series, Airbus has launched new aircraft called Airbus A320 one Neo XLR, an aircraft that competes well in middle market with its range of 8,400 kilometers or 4,500 nautical miles. However, at much lower cost due to usage of smaller aircraft, Boeing's response B797 is yet to be shown to the public for the first time. However, due to Boeing 737 MAX fiasco, nobody expects Boeing will be rushing with a 797 development. Airbus isn't resting on its laurels and has started development of new generation of aircraft that will take to the air in mid to late 2030s and early 2040s with aim of sustainability and reducing carbon footprint. And to that effect, Airbus has started investing heavily into development of alternative propulsion technologies, battery storage technologies and design that will offer more comfortable, more economic, efficient and greener flight. E-Fan technology and all-electric flight technology Airbus has been working on for the past 4-5 years. Rolls-Royce, also famous for making aeroplane engines, and a number of other companies including Siemens, German engineering group, one of the world's largest. E-Thrust is another technology demonstrator and concept Airbus is working on, a video made a few years ago worth checking out. E-Thrust is basically hybrid electric concept that relies on hybrid propulsion or combination of a standard kerosene fuel and a battery that act as a storage allowing for longer range flights. At the Singapore Air Show a few weeks ago, Airbus unveiled a design project called Maverick, which stands for Model Aircraft for Validation and Experimentation of Robust Innovative Controls. I know, mouthful. Project was initiated in 2017 after recent research done into disruptive aircraft configuration. Maverick, if it moves from a concept to a full-scale program and commercial aircraft, could lead up to 20% more efficient aircraft than any current single-aisle plane used by most commercial airliners today. The Airbus Maverick project has culminated in working scale model that is 2 meters long and 3.2 meters wide. In addition to using significantly less fuel, Maverick opens up new possibility for integration of different proportions, hybrid electric proportion, conventional or fully electric proportion. As progress towards improved battery technology, we are set to revolutionize travel, including air travel. Internally, Maverick will offer unparalleled comfort and space on board currently only offered by most luxurious VIP aircraft.
I had a chance to talk to Airbus regarding this exciting project. However, it is not clear if Airbus will develop its own battery technology, presumably lithium air battery or some form of solid state battery. Any integration of hybrid or fully electric propulsion must consider concepts of advanced battery storage. Recently, Siemens acquired a Solvay, a Belgium solid state battery maker, who is at the very edge of battery storage technology and Airbus and Siemens often work together, it is logical to conclude Airbus might rely on external partners to develop the technology and use a sheer market presence to acquire the know-how. Airbus would at least from a technological standpoint want to be at the very forefront of aviation market which it dominates with nearly 46% of the market share. If any company comes out with first electric, commercially viable 100 to 300 seat passenger aircraft, it is either Airbus or Tesla. Now Elon Musk has hinted of an electric aircraft and I've made video on it, link in the description. But Airbus has a slight edge here as they are actually working on the technology. Although hybrid electric is perhaps most plausible solution to commercial aviation for foreseeable future as a solution in cutting down CO2 emissions, as well as offering a long range flight. Many airlines today are converting planes into flying cattle cars with passengers packed in as tightly as possible in order to maximize revenue. Airbus says blended wing planes could change all that. A blended wing body design provides an exceptionally comfortable cabin layout, enabling passengers to benefit from additional legroom and larger aisles for more personal comfort. Airbus isn't saying this is the concept of a working model, i.e. they'll develop this particular concept into a commercial aircraft, so there is no specific timeline for entry into service. However, this is technology demonstrator could be instrumental in bringing about change in commercial aircraft architecture for an environmentally sustainable future for the aviation industry. Issue that might be of a concern with the design is perhaps getting airports on board. There won't be issue of adaptation for Maverick is only slightly wider than Airbus A320. However, not as long. For example, 25 meter long Airbus Maverick will take same amount of space as 35 meter wide aircraft or practically fit 40 to 50 meter airport box or gate or a packing slot in front of the terminal. The difference being, Maverick will offer much greater comfort, could carry between 170 and 210 passengers with range up to 5,000 nautical miles or 9,300 kilometers with same amount of fuel. And 45 meter long Airbus Maverick would be around 67 meters wide, about the same width as any modern wide body aircraft, but be capable of carrying 500 passengers and offer a range of up to 20,000 kilometers or something Airbus A350 1000 ULR or ultra long range currently offers but requires a lot more fuel and carries a lot less passengers. The Maverick blended wing design is intended to use jet engines available today but the company is also deeply involved in hybrid electric propulsion system. It calls eFanX in partnership with Rolls-Royce and Simmons. It is also studying ways of reducing emissions and improving efficiency with its follow-fly approach which mimics V-shaped flight pattern common among birds as they migrate in flocks. Airbus is also deeply involved in developing autonomous systems that will allow airplanes to take off, fly and land without the need for human pilots. Even when using conventional propulsion, Maverick blended wing body configuration is a potential game changer in this respect. It offers up to 20% increased efficiency. When achieving 4 to 5% is considered major technological achievement. Future testing will analyze such things as its handling qualities, flight control, multi-objective control surfaces and modularity. There won't be any blended wing airplanes in the sky anytime soon. 
Approvals for new aircraft design takes years to obtain, but the Airbus project may be the entry to a new era of air travel that is more comfortable with fewer emissions, which would be good news for air travelers and the environment. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Links in the description.